for me, the big thing about drum and bass is the fact that it is, to me, a parallel to hip-hop. The fact that when hip-hop started, it was two turntables and, and a mic, and it was the fact that it was something brand new, and there was an ocean of potential, because rock and roll is tired, you know, they keep regurgitating the old things, and you just need every now and again just to close the door and to look into a wide space and go, oh, wow, this is the potential, so you start off with a planet rock, and then you get a, you know, then you get, I don't know, you get a tribe called Quest, and then you can get a Wu-Tang Clan, you know, things develop, you know, and with hip with drum and bass, to me, it's the same thing, it's early days, really, we're just five or six years into it. First original, they used to call it like bonehead music. When I used to work at City Sounds, they used to call me Ray Bonehead because it was so intense. And then it came up with like great hardcore. No, it, it started off as hardcore, and then after hardcore, um, uh, we started calling it Jungle. And Jungle stayed with the scene for a long time. And then it went into like, you know, uh, uh, dark, do you know what I mean? And then it kind of went into jump up and drum and bass, and now the new term for it is Jungle Stroke Drum and Bass.